are now entering the metal zone with your host, Tony Biscardi. Hey everybody, welcome to the Metal Zone. I'm your host, Tony Biscardi. We're going to give you a behind the scenes look at how a sculpture goes from concept to finished design. Let's go into the studio and go into the Metal Zone. We're here at Biscardi Design Studio. Let me introduce you to Miss Marla. She works behind the scenes and helps me get everything done. Well, there she is, Miss Marla. Hey, Miss Marla, tell everybody what you do here at Biscardi Designs besides, well, everything. <laughs> well, I don't know about everything, but he's pretty close. Um, actually, my primary function around here is to keep the office running smoothly, answer emails, um, so that the artiste can get his work done in the metal zone. I'm sure he's going to take you over there very shortly. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, Tony Biscardi. Let me tell you what we're going to do today. Um, we actually do some licensing stuff for UofL and UK, but we actually got a couple local high schools, like this school right here, which is St. X, and we also got the rival, which is Trinity. And we're going to be doing their logos in aluminum for wall art. So let's go back in the studio, and that's what we're going to do today. All right, we got our logos here for the two high schools, the uh, Trinity and of course the say next these two schools are rivals here in town too so these two usually don't get beside each other we're going to put these over here on my projector just like schools use or whatever you did when you're in grade school and uh, we're going to blow them up to what size we want trace them out on the metal and cut them out This is my baby right here. It's about a $500 piece of equipment, so it's not cheap, but uh, it does allow me to blow things up, logos and pieces, and make them bigger or smaller for designers. So here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna cut the T out. We've got it drawn here on the metal. We're gonna have two layers, so I gotta cut the first one out, and then we'll cut the second one out, then we'll get them all painted. And then I'll show you some tricks on putting them together, but uh, safety first, people. Got to put your safety glasses on. Now we got the T's cut out. Now we got to take and do a little sanding and make all this look shiny and pretty. Actually, I turned this little piece of metal into some jewelry from this point okay, on. Okay, it's going to get a little loud, but I think you guys can handle it. Time to do a little welding. I know this helmet's a little goofy and stuff, but you know, it's the way I roll. Okay, back with this ugly helmet again. We're gonna weld the hanger on the back so the piece can hang from the wall. It's not glamorous, but it is what it is. Simple as that, kids. One of the big secrets, we're going to put the lines in the metal now. I'll show you when it's done, but that's what it's going to look like, something like that. Now uh, here's a piece before I paint it. Uh, got the sanding done on it. Now it's time to put the glass paint on it. Well, actually, it's a translucent paint, so you can see through the paint, and uh, you'll see what it turns out like. You can actually still see the sanding swirls, but it'll be green. It'll be really cool. Okay, here we go. The finished piece. I'm sure they'll be flying off the shelves next week. That's it for me. I'm Tony Viscardi, and we'll see you next time in the Metal Zone.